to my channel. My name is Evie and this is Rocky. Oh, Rody. And this is Rody. Today's video is all is just a spa day with my two giant African land snails. So what I will be doing is cleaning their shells and telling you how to properly do it, everything like that. I've also got a surprise for you at the end of the video. Let's get on. So let's start with preparation and everything you'll need. So you'll need a toothbrush, any toothbrush, give me a cheap one, depends, and a spray bottle, a shallow bowl of water, warm water, your snails prefer it. So making, you also need to make sure you're not too hard with your toothbrush because if you are, you can break the snail shell, especially if they're not fully grown. And so, and next will just be what pre preparation. And so, before we start, you need to wet your hands because handling a snail, if your hands are just really dry, it can be really bad for them. And if you have moisturizer on your hands, I would wearing a glove because they can eat the moisturiser and get ill. So, spray bottle, I can just use that. And just wet my hands. Now, you're gonna get your warm bowl of water and quickly soak your, the brussels of your toothbrush into the water for a little bit. Just to, yep. Keep it in there for about two minutes or so. And now, you'll need to get your snails. Some of your snails get quite bad cracked shells, like mine, especially Rody, just from genetics, or they're just really young, sometimes that happens. Um, so you want to be extra careful going over those bits. But I think Rocky is easiest because he has quite a clean shell compared to Rody. So let's go. So I'm going to get my toothbrush you can soak in your warm water and you want to go over the crack bits first so you probably can't see this very well but I'll just try as hard as I can going over quickly your snail actually really likes it if sometimes especially rocky <laughs> now so we'll go you want to go underneath not on the skin but just underneath quite well we can on here. Okay. This does not take too long. Um, you just want to be careful, as I said before. If you want to try and prevent a really bad cracked shell, I would just go with not putting pottery or anything in your tank because if your snail, sadly, if your snail crack cracked shell if it hits the top and there's like a hole um you will your snail is going to suffocate because it's breathing hole will get covered so you will have to put it down but i've never done that before because as you can see these are the only two snails i have so yeah you've got to just keep on going along like that and be all right after washing and Brushing your snail, I suppose. You want to re re wash your hands because they get dry after a while. And you want to dry. You want to just spray the snail because he can get a very dry. That's why you spray the tank so much, about twice a day at least. Um, I've got to wash my hands off. And also, before I did this last night or a few hours before, you can do this. You want to. It's for your amusement, you don't really have to do it. It's just you want to put the tap on quite low. Warm water and they'll just duck their heads in under. It's quite fun for your amusement. <laughs> and the snails like it, so it's a win-win. It's nothing harmless to them, but don't do it too much. Also. So after that, we're going to skip to the next snail. So now we've done the spa routine. Here comes a surprise, which I hope you'll like. Um, they're really hard to see, but there are three more 
tiny, they're only about almost two weeks old, baby snails. So, well, the same kind, at least I think so. And they are tiny. I um, think you can just about see them. But I used to have five. Sadly, when they are really young, two of them did die. But I am thinking of names, which I don't know yet. But if you have babies, then you want to keep them just in a small tank like this, just in a container. There was five, so you probably want a smaller container if you've got like one or two. And they, they are really small, so you don't want to touch them too much. Because if, if you do touch them too much, they will get used to it. And that's kind of annoying because after they get used to it, they always want your hand. And it does get annoying. So you just want to wet them like the smallest amount because they will drown otherwise. So quickly wet them off. Baby cat, I did look into it. Giant baby, giant African land snail baby cat. It's pretty simple. You just got to keep them in the tank for a while. About four to six months, something like that. But they're really, they're quite easy to take care of. You've just got to watch them. And you do not want to keep a dead snail in there because, well, you just don't want it in there because it can be bad. They have got diseases or anything, but mostly the younger. Okay, let me try and get you one without it falling on me. Off. My finger. That's a shell. I never saw the parents because I wasn't there to see them. But apparently they were very nice shells. So I hope they'll get non-cracked shells this time. But oh well. Put them back. And that's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. And see you next week. Bye from Rocky. You can see him. Rody. And me. And three other baby snails.